London riots predicted a hundred years ago. This London type riots really, uh, you'll find that it's been coming up from time to time and it'll now escalate, it'll spread to Europe, it will come and go in the UK. It is a continuous problem, it's an economic problem. It was predicted uh, by Sina van Rensburg a hundred years ago and there's obvious points that nobody wants to say aloud because of the labeling that goes around these issues. But in essence, you'll find that the riots are mostly people of colored, that means non-white. They are the ones that are mostly marginalized. It's also now happening in North Africa where many are pushed to the brink of you can call it extinction because there is absolutely no future and no hope. You have it spreading across Africa and from Africa it will spill over into Europe and into the UK. You'll have similar kind of smaller events in the Americas. Mainly it will be a European and a UK problem. Now, in the UK, obviously, there's a very high tolerance for this type of things to allow it so that the anger can kind of be diffused through things that, like looting and stealing. I mean, it's really criminal activity at the end of the day. And it's being allowed because it gives a particular view of people of color and it suits the whites to have it this way because then they can justify the next development within the situation of the world which is essentially being directed by your know, ca ca Caucasian races. Now understand that these things were not planned per se, it, the fact that it's predicted means it was programmed per se. It was done not on earth, it was done in the design before. It was it was manifested on earth through a pre-programmed scenario. Here David Icke is quite correct in the point about the Third World War being promoted, planned, put into action. And it's basically the Third World War is, is being becoming more and more necessary from a certain perspective because of the economic situation and destruction in essence is opportunity and there is a massive amount of people suffering on earth that cannot be accommodated by the current economic system. They don't have the capital to survive, they have no way of getting the capital, so the capital has become exclusive. And in this exclusivity, you have a major problem developing, and instead of having riots extensively, continuously, they were rather up for war, and that will be done through eventually offering money to dear souls or soldiers. They are the dear souls that's going to have to save the world from a certain perspective or not really save the economic system. Instead of changing the system, they'll try and save it and millions will die. It's not necessary to go this way, but it is most likely now, if you look at the level of brainwashing that has happened and the inability of humanity to consider and even remotely understand equality and the fact that one can actually change the world in a way that's best for all through an equal money system. I mean, it is just fascinating that uh, consumerism has caused this because consumerism through advertising and control to create a system where goods are available as cheap as possible, the ultimate greed in the name of love has created this third world war now. Uh, in a way it was stopped, in a way it was possible to transcend it, but now most unlikely. And love is the cause. If Mr. Ike could hear that, he'll obviously disagree. But if you go and study how love has been used 
to marginalize everybody into a corporation state where goods are available as cheap as possible but jobs are not available you'll understand the problem of greed and everyone that is coming up with this so-called benevolent idea to make things available as wide as possible as cheap as possible do not consider the amount of jobs they destroy with that they do it obviously to enrich themselves but then that enrichment is then covered up with their benevolent loveful act I love what I'm doing I love the fact that I'm able to spread my, li my love by making things available to everyone that's in fact greed and it is the, one of the major causes for the problems in the world the riots the economic problems the bailouts and now the next world war greed is the cause and it's done by good people the greed of good people that is attempting to produce things in the technological age in the cheapest possible way with the least human labor as possible as mechanized as possible and there you have it war is brooding and the heat is on it's burning in the streets of London and the heat is growing as it's burning in Libya and in Egypt and in Syria have a look what the Jews are moaning about they're moaning about the rentals being too high and the income not high enough why is the rentals high? capitalism because those that own the buildings which is their capital is utilizing their control to push up the prices they're not interested in providing housing they're interested in making money profit this profiteering will cause us massive problems so please please if you in any way can hear there is a problem this problem is going to require global awareness and virtually none of this awareness exists and if we don't get this point to a point of awareness so that we can direct a new economic system and bring about a change in this world break away from the current system of greed this world is going to face the greatest war yet the safest place in all of this is going to be Africa the south of Africa the rest of the world is going to be at war unfortunately this was also predicted that means it is hardwired into the DNA this war and the way it's going to play we can change our stars we can change our program but at this stage it is most unlikely it is a sad day that there is virtually no way that we can stop it and in a way we'll have to accept to prepare ourselves to be able to continue after this the focus will have to be Africa a place to go consider that join us at destiny one way or another a new world will come about preferably not through war but it seems to be the way and as long as that is the way we have to be practical breath by breath utilizing common sense in preparing to assist and protect as many people as possible from this absolute ludicrous insanity that is busy brewing and that will be on our doorsteps within the next few years it will not be yet there is still hope as long as there is hope 
people will try to still try and prevent war but the economic system is crashing and it is being so completely embraced as the only way that we can go forward that there is virtually no alternative but war and if you study economics you'll know what I'm saying is so that the system has always replenished itself through war and we are unfortunately spiraling down to it it is the countdown now which is virtually certain that war will come and engulf all of Europe and the Americas and the East you'll probably pray and ask that God be with you but God can't because God has run out of money you have a problem bigger than you can imagine do your research we will be regularly give updates on the points and start to do timeline assessments so that one can see how this all accumulate into something we would all rather want to prevent join us at destiny we require a new economic system for that join us at equalmoney.org change must be born join us to add to the riot point and the discontent the question is why will Sine van Rensburg able to predict these happenings a hundred years ago essentially if you study his work and there are books available in English you'll notice that when he had his visions he first went through a process of great battle where he battled the forces of light and dark, of good and evil and once he finished that battle he came to clarity and he had his visions which is basically the battle of polarity which is in the design and then we'll be showing through the fossil record in time how this design was pre-programmed it is astounding how specific it was programmed to bring us to this day and age but through utilizing the specific outcomes of good and evil the future was predicted and the problems for Europe and the United Kingdom specifically in terms of retribution for what they did in the world because your cycles work through a karmic cycle what they've done to the non-white races throughout hundreds of years is now bearing its fruit and it will become uncontrollable as it will run amok in these areas and the fear will bleed onto the streets there is no easy answer for these things now there has never been humans on earth that cared about anything but themselves and of those the British are the worst they have a ego that is being imposed on humanity through currency through conquering through slavery through many ways and their payday has arrived suggest that that is not the place to go as things get worse and they are not ready for it because the self-righteous ideas about themselves are so extensive that it'll be too late before they realize the shit they're in anyway that is the terror that revisit those that invented terror and that imposed it on the world it's very similar to the problems awaiting America for the terror they imposed on the Indian Indians. It is massive problems that is ahead for many, many parts of the world. Join us at Destiny.